Today I'm going to show you how I paint a partridge in a pear tree and it's really a two-in-one demonstration because first we're going to paint a topiary. I feel the end result would make a great holiday greeting card. So watch the video, give it a try and see what you can come up with. I found three different cap sizes and I'm going to start with the, actually I'm going to lay them down and make sure I get them in the right place. I photographed the view from above so you can see the actual placement of the bottle caps and I think they make a perfect topiary shape. So I'm going to take my pencil and draw around each one. It doesn't have to be very accurate because once I get the paint on there it will change a little bit I'm sure. I'm doing a partridge in the pear tree and so there'll be little twiggy bits coming out of here as well so it won't be as even as this once I've got the paint going. It's teeming with rain again and I'm sure you can hear that in the background there's nothing I can do about that. So anyway so let's take these off I don't know if you can see it from there, but it's enough to give me a faint guideline. See if I can. My palette's a little messy. I was using it yesterday for painting my video Green Grapes, how I paint green grapes on the vine. And I've just added a couple of, um, replenished a couple of air, uh, paint colors. I have alizarin crimson, cadmium yellow light, sap green, ultra, ultramarine blue, raw umber and titanium white. I'll list those for you. Okay, so I'm going to use um, this scruffy long handled filbert and I'm going to mix some sap green with ultramarine blue, a little of the cad yellow and a touch of the raw umber to bring it down. That's brought it way down. Okay, that's not too bad. And I'm gonna start just by, just by dabbing that all over. I don't use an easel because I can't get my camera set up to work with an easel. So this is a little awkward, but most of the time it works. There we go. That's sort of a nice mid green. I'm going to use a small round and some some um, raw umber just to put it in right at the center. I'm going to put in my stem. 
quite a thick stem. And I'm going to mix some raw amber and titanium. Raw amber, although it's a nice dark brown, it's a really neutral colour, especially when you mix it with some white. And I'm going to put the top of a pot. I won't put the whole thing in because I'm not showing you how to paint a pot. We'll do that in another session. Um, I'm showing you how I paint a topiary at this particular point. This is really a sort of two-in-one video because I'm starting off with a topiary but I'm ending up with a partridge in a pear tree. Okay, so that's enough time on that pot at this point. I'm going to put in the dirt. I'm also going to put in a little shadow under the rim and down the side. And that's good enough for now. So I'm taking my flat and a, my quarter inch flat, a tiny amount of alizarin, really tiny amount, some of the green and some titanium. I'm getting a sort of nice greenish yellow is what I want. And we're going to say that the light comes from this direction and I'm going to put a light side. Okay. Now I'm mixing some ultramarine with some sap green, maybe a little raw amber, a little more green in there. And I'm going to put a dark side. And I'm going to put a little darker right underneath where the light wouldn't reach. And you get that nice ball shape. And I can see where the edges of uh, my strokes sort of make a hard oval. So I'll just take a soft brush, I can find one and just stroke over it. First the light side. Sort of bring it all in. And I'll flip my brush over and then do the dark side. And that hard edge goes. Now this nice orangey colour that the cad yellow light and the alizarin crimson make is a good light for the light side of the stem. So we'll just put that in. And we'll use our dark mixture for the dark side of the stem.
basically you can get something to look fairly realistic if you just use three um, tones medium light and dark and that that sort of works to give you a fairly realistic look and basically that's how you paint a topiary now you can refine this uh, a little if you want the look of leaves this is the very very minimalist look and you can um, you can add leaves to this to give you um, a much more realistic look And I'm going to do that to the rest of the topiary because we are making a partridge in a pear tree. So I'm going to add a partridge, a pear, and I'll continue with the leaves. And I'll be right back once I've got all the leaves in. Okay, so now I've got my topiary looking a little, a little more realistic. Um, it... Um, resembles a tree I hope and I'm going to put in my partridge and I'm going to stick my partridge right on top and a partridge is what's called um, a game bird they are bred in England where I come from for shooting for eating and um, I have seen them in America and in Canada and I'm going to put my partridge right on top Now partridges are not this colour actually, but this is a good start. Now partridges have um, a sort of tan coloured body and like um, back and tail is sort of a tan colour and then it has um, stripy wings in black I'm okay with that And it has a little kind of zigzag that goes right across the eye. I've got a steady enough hand for this. And then it has um a sort of yellowish beak. I think my zigzag is a bit big. I'm going to take that down a little bit. going to try and make his eye a little more definite. And 
Mm, that's not too bad. We'll see how that goes. I might come back to that later. Okay, so that leaves pairs, doesn't it? And I'm going to I'm going to put a couple sort of hanging off the tree. The one there. One here. One up there. Let's see how that goes. I'm using the same brush, so I'm rinsing it out in water. And we'll make these very golden pairs. So I'm doing a blob and then rounding it out a little bit. That's pretty good. I'm mixing titanium white blob of white on the side. And I'm going to put a couple in the middle. That didn't come out very well. Need more paint. I'm painting wet on wet, so it's a bit harder. Well, I don't think that's too bad. I'm going to put some leaves in. I'm going to... Going to add some more pairs. Add three to that one and maybe five to this one. One, two, three, four. I'm putting the fifth one here.
So all together I have 5, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Um, I think I might want 15. It's not that I consider 13 an unlucky number, but I consider an odd number better than an even number. And I kind of like the idea of having a few more on here. I'm, I'm just going to put a little dab down here representing one there and maybe a dab here. And that, that should do it I think. So I'm going to let those dry a little bit. It won't dry very much but it might dry enough for me to get more paint on there and define those pairs a little better. Um, so I'm going to have some lunch and then I'll be back. Alright, so it's had a little drying time, about an hour, and that's probably sufficient to let me put some lights and darks on these pairs. And I've mixed titanium white with some cad yellow light just to give me a really pale yellow, and I'm just going to sort of dab it on here and there. I'm just really suggesting pairs. I'm not painting them in any great detail. I'm going to leave the ones on that side because although we can see them they're in the on the shadow side, they're on the shadow side of the topiary and wouldn't get a huge amount of light. I think that's good for the lights. Now I'm going to use um, some raw umber, just straight raw umber and put in a little little shadow line. Just to give them some definition, some shape. Not too much, just a little here and there. It all adds, it all helps give that suggestion of pair. Your eye reads. I think that's pretty good. Maybe a one up here. See, the light has gone off this bird, so I might add a little, little, um, just to the top of the head, so tiny, and maybe the breast, and that will probably dull down a little bit. put in some more. Now this is my problem. I never know when to stop. So I'm going to add a few more lighter leaves.
I think that's my partridge in the pear tree.